Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather as one family around the table of the Lord, and we beg for the grace that as we, as we continue to prepare for the coming of the Lord, we may truly understand the meaning of love. We may truly understand the meaning of charity. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he, came, he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills, my lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks, he says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, 
my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning, the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O my dove in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and you are lovely. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-stringed lyre, chant His praises. Sing to Him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of His heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen for His own inheritance. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in Him our hearts rejoice. In His holy name we trust. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to Him a new song. Please stand. giver of law, come to save us, Lord our God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our first reading today is also used an option for weddings. And looking into our first reading, the author describes the beauty of his beloved. And more than just describing the beauty of his beloved, he also describes his deep love for her. 
if ever we can get a scriptural foundation for the saying, love is blind, then we can use these passages to describe that adage. Why? Because the author only sees the beauty of his beloved. He speaks of the grandeur of his love. He is blinded with his love because he does not see the negative things about his beloved. And this is the experience of someone who is madly and deeply in love with someone. No matter how other people may criticize the beloved, the lover would not hear a word of it, but would just focus on the beautiful things that the beloved has. But this is not just an experience between lovers. This is our experience with God. Because no matter how sinful may, we may see ourselves, God does not focus on those things, but rather our beauty as His creation. And it is enough reason for Him to love us. That is why no matter how often we may offend Him with our weaknesses and our sinfulness, God continues to love us. No matter how wretched we may see ourselves, God still made salvation possible for us. And this is the beauty of loving. It is not just about seeing the beauty of the beloved. It is not about who is worthy or unworthy of such love. When we truly love, we don't see who is above or who is below. We just choose to love. And this is, this is also shown in our gospel today. Elizabeth sees that she is unworthy of the visit of Mary. But Mary does not see it that way. Because whenever we truly love, we only build bridges that connect us to one another. And as we continue our journey this Advent, our preparation for the Christmas season, let us not only look on the beauty of our, of our beloved, but more importantly, on the beauty of loving. Physical beauty may not last, may, may not last only the physical beauty may not last only, but the beauty of loving will remain. Please stand. Elizabeth was honored by the visit from the mother of her Lord, but Mary only wished to share her joy. Let us bring our prayers to the Father who cherished, who cherished these chosen women. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church be zealous in spreading the good news of salvation to all people, especially to those in far-flung areas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders show special concern for the poor and the marginalized by, by their programs and services. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families and communities Show gratitude for their individual and communal blessings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Mary, we as a community and as individuals strive to reach out to our neighbors who are in dire need of our material and spiritual assistance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead, Experience the joy of God's presence in His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people who are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for.
God our Father, you manifest your presence among us in the generosity of our brothers and sisters. May we continue to proclaim your love by engaging in a life of service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your Church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, our King who is to come. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people, so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight we join the parish and national shrine of St. Padre, P- Padre Pio in Santo Tomas, Batangas, who will lead us in our healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 p.m. The rosary will be led by the Archbishop of Lipa, Archbishop Gilbert A. Garcera. We continue to pray as one family for the healing of not only of our country but of the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.